Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the tub to pump hose on your washer. The tub to pump hose is used to supply water from the outer tub to the pump. Over time it may dry and crack and leak. Now it's an easy job to change, so let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, the first thing we should do is to disconnect power to the washer. So either locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker or remove the appropriate fuse, or simply reach behind it and unplug it. Now next we'll need to remove the front panel, and depending on your model, if it has screws that are visible through the front, you'll need to remove those, tilt the panel out. If there are no screws visible, we'll use a putty knife and go at the very bottom of the panel, you'll note that there are two clips, one on either side. We'll just depress those and tilt the panel out. Just take a stiff putty knife on that clip, and it's just about an inch or inch and a half in from the edge. Just press that clip a bit, and pop that panel forward. And then while holding upward on it, putting some pressure towards the top, just tilt it out and disconnect the spring clips at the top. We can then set that aside. Our next step will be to remove the old hose and there will be some water in that tub that's left that didn't get pumped out so I have something there to contain that. We'll simply remove both the clamp at the bottom of the tub and the clamp at the pump. Remove the clamp for future use. And slide that hose off and discard the old one. Now with the new hose, you'll note that one end of it is longer than the other after that bend and the longer portion go onto the tub. So make sure that the outlet nipple from the tub is clean. And then fit it firmly onto the tub. Make sure it's pushed right up to the bottom of the tub. Install the clamp at the bottom. And fit that over the pump. Position the clamps and tighten them. Verify that both clamps are tight, and now we're ready to put the front panel on. So we'll reinstall that front panel, tuck the top end in first, make sure it's even side to side, and keep some pressure up against the top. That will allow those two spring clips to engage. Now on this model, we're simply going to press it into place till the clips on the bottom latch. And if your model had screws, you would now reinstall those. Now we can push the washer back into place. We're now ready to reconnect the power and our repair is complete. 